Hello everyone, my name is Brandon Jewell and I'm with the Career Technical Education Foundation and I am here with Christine Nee, who's an engineering manager at Medtronic. Christine, thank you so much for being here. Hi Brandon, thanks for having me. So I wanna learn just first and foremost, what it is that you do at Medtronic as an engineering manager. Um, like, What does a typical day like look like for you? Yeah, sure. Um, so I should probably mention I've been with Medtronic for 10 years. So I originally was an individual contributor within Medtronic. I've recently moved into a functional management role. So it's, it's a bit of a new role for me. So my day is very diverse. It can change from day to day. But typically, given the situation we're in at the moment, where all of my team, I now have a team of 12 individuals based across three facilities in the United States, um, that I start my day off now with a team meeting. So we're all gaining alignment on what our goals are for that day and for the week. Um, given the impacts that we're now all working from home. So that's kind of my typical morning, how it gets started off is working with my team, what challenges they have, how can I help them, you know, how can I facilitate moving along work and getting our projects kind of done. Um, and then another big part of my day will be dealing with, um, I'm currently supporting new product development. So that's where we're really in the clinical phase of development as opposed to commercial, which is where you're actually selling a product. So one of that part, one of the biggest aspects that comes back to me in the quality function is we would ha have certain events happen within our clinical trials. We call them complaints. And then part of my job is to then make assessments of whatever had happened in a complaint or in a situation, you know, um, and then give advice or then determine what our next steps are and what action we might want to take. So that might be part of my day to do something like that. I do a lot of career development with my group too, which is nice. It's a, it's a great way to have those kind of conversations. I personally love that. I love having a chat with someone to find out where are you going? What do you want to do? It's funny, I know in high school, you have a lot of career you know, kind of conversations. And it's funny to think that even when you go into your professional career, you'll continue to have those conversations because you do want to have a path that you want to follow. And then you'll have a manager who's going to help you realize those expectations. Um, so that will be part of my day. And then I form a lot of part of strategic meetings within our business. So that's where we're starting to make decisions about where we want to put our money and our resources, what technology we want to invest in, and, you know, reviewing projects. Are they on the right path? Is there slippage there? Do we want to change our focus? What's happening external to our company? So what's happening just in the clinical world in general? What, where can Medtronic add the most value? Um, so that's kind of a typical day. So a uh, couple questions based on, on your answer yeah. there. Um, what, how, uh, how many people do you manage for your team? I manage 12 people. And then um, mm -hmm. also, let's for those who don't know what Medtronic does, do you want to give the little elevator yeah. pitch there? Sure. So Medtronic is one of the largest medical device companies in the world. So there's just over 80,000 employees, which is quite a lot of people. We focus primarily on uh, like our powerhouse technology we call is pacemaker business, which is where you're making essentially a mini electrical component, which goes within your heart and keeps your heartbeat nice and steady. Mm -hmm. I specifically work in the heart valve division. So my department works on developing new heart valves which um, essentially replaces your entire valve of your heart. That's what we do. We have other businesses too, where we look at stenting and, and, and diabetes is another section, but we're all med device basically. Okay. Well, I, I yeah. guess that that would be fairly rewarding to know that you are uh, making and designing things that will go into the human body and literally save lives. It is. Um, it's, it's fantastic. It's, you know, it's why I do my job. I would, I would admit that's why I'm in MedDevice. Um, it's very rewarding. The most rewarding piece is when you meet someone who's using your device or who has said, especially like we create stents. So stents will be if a person has, say they have a heart check, they realize they've had a heart blockage. You know, it's a non-invasive way of basically avoiding having to have serious major surgery um, and give them back their lives. Heart valves is particularly rewarding because a person would go in, again, we're non-invasive, so we're a catheter technology, that meaning, you know, we'll access your body, it's not an open surgery, we'll go in, we'll, we'll deploy our heart valve, we'll come back out, they wake up from the procedure, and they can breathe and walk again. Um, it's like night and day, they, they describe it that they go to sleep and they wake up and they feel like they did years previously, so it's really rewarding to hear those kind of stories. Tell me how you got into that particular career and then also, you know, how 
uh, how you came to this country and to work for Medtronic. Yeah, sure. So um, how I picked Medtronic, first of all, and I would say I'm 10 years in Medtronic, so you can do the math. I came out of university during a recession. Um, it was not a great time to be leaving university with <laughs> very little work experience. Um, and just not a lot of huge amount of jobs, but Medtronic was hiring. And so I joined Medtronic and I fell into the division I'm in, which is the quality division. Now I would say I am very lucky. I started in the division that is my natural attribute and I continued within that organization. So I, I never left quality. And um, I just literally fell into it. It's, I didn't even know it existed when I was in university. It wasn't as widely advertised. It wasn't as well known. It's definitely an on the job type of a job. So I did my Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Science, um, or you could do Biomedical Engineering as well um, to achieve that kind of a role. And then on it, I had a lot of on the job learning. Mm. So, and then, so I joined Medtronic in Ireland 10 years ago. Um, I was in the company approximately two years. My husband also worked for Medtronic. <laughs> so we decided, you know, Medtronic is global. There's so much opportunity. We spoke to people and we heard about this amazing place, Santa Rosa. So we said, you know what, we should, we should go to Santa Rosa. We should try it. You know, I'm Irish. So it rains a lot in Ireland. We heard about this like unicorn sun that's here. So we said, we'll go and we'll try it out. And then we came here and we, we really, lo we loved it here. We still love it here. I'm here eight years later. And um, the community feel is amazing. Within Medtronic here in Santa Rosa, I do talk about this when I'm hiring people or interviewing people is that Santa Rosa has a really good community vibe, especially then there's a Medtronic community. And mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of team members who've been in Medtronic here for so many years. We have this great kind of a caring, nurturing group of people who work there. And it's just a very warm, personable place to be. So that's why we're still here. And that's why I still work for Medtronic. <laughs> so Medtronic is global. Do you happen yep. to know how many sites they have around the world? It's, a, it's approximately 3,000 from wow. what I know because we have a lot of, we have, we have satellites, like we have very, sometimes we have very small mm -hmm. offices in certain geographies, but it's, it's approximately about 3,000, yeah. And I, I think it's, you know, uh, Santa Rosa is my hometown. I, I love the idea that yeah. you, out of all of those locations, out of all the opportunities that you had with the Medtronics, you said, I want to go yeah. to Santa Rosa. That's really cool. Yeah. That's really cool. It was. So, so your career, mm -hmm. um, what kind of skills and training or, or certificates or degrees would one need in order to get into the career that you're in? Yeah. So um, speaking is now I'm a hiring manager. So I've been in my role as a functional manager for 18 months. So now that's part of my role is recruiting people in Medtronic. So when I'm looking for somebody who to fill in within my group, I specifically, you know, I'm required to look, obviously you need a Bachelor of Science in either engineering, biomedical engineering is preferred, but mechanical engineering is okay too. Um, I did biomedical science or science. So we're looking for degrees within that kind of an area. Um, I think biomedical engineering is probably one of the best Kind of courses you can do you're going to get a little element of everything within it biomedical in general you know that's where you're going to head toward and um, that's kind of one good thing and um, if you can get some work experience Medtronic does do that it's a little bit unusual at the moment because of the COVID situation we do offer internships for high school students and um, a limited number of those and we're obviously open for people coming in but that's a really good way of kind of gathering information and also kind of training and, and figuring out if that's the right move for you. But that's what we would look for. Um, so mm -hmm. um, as we wrap this up, I always like to get yeah. a piece of advice from the person that I'm interviewing. And so maybe you can give just one piece of advice to these students as they start to think about their future. I suppose my biggest piece of advice is do what you're passionate about. So pick the subject you're passionate about. I was always very passionate about science, uh, physiology, just discovering new things. And then I fit my job around that. And there will always be so many jobs to fit around what you're passionate about. If you're passionate, you'll drive so hard at something that it'll just naturally come. Um, I, I do a long hours in my job. I do it because I love it. And I love it because I'm doing really the core subjects of what I used to do when I was in school. And that's what I would say. 
Well, Christine, I want to thank you again for mm -hmm. joining us and sharing your experience and uh, telling us a little bit about what you do at Medtronic. So. Definitely. Thank you very much for having me.